So here we are, the cast of development professionals, researchers, and analysts. Are we, in a sense, part of this reality, or do we stand outside it? I don't want to dwell on an introspection, but what I'm trying to say is that the challenge for us right now is perhaps unprecedented in complexity and also in the challenge of managing transitions that are, in some ways, without precedent. Why do I say that? Well, the prolonged fiscal aftershocks that we are living through right now are manifesting themselves in a level of extreme poverty or alienation that now touches the lives of hundreds of millions of people. Not a few local communities, not a few thousand, not in isolated places, but there are whole areas across the global financial economy and across territories where people essentially are poorer, worse off, and feel hard done by. We are also facing a phenomenon of mass movements where the foundations of the right to protection are being questioned. Foundations that have been part of our international principle of solidarity, but also of a rights-based <coughs> approach to assisting people who have to flee their country, are being questioned. Where we are so scared to even evolve these instruments because we actually believe very often in international negotiations that we may end up with something worse than we had up to now. Dramatic technological change and all these phenomena resulting in a transition that in one respect is without precedent. Never before in the history of, let's say, modern social and economic management did we have to transform virtually our entire economy because of a factor such as carbon dioxide emissions. Yet what climate change and what the Paris Agreement and what science and what increasingly also economics tells us is that that is precisely what we have to do. We have to decarbonize our economy in a global setting, literally within 40 years. Otherwise, there is no guarantee of this two-degree pathway. Now, when you say that, in an age where fossil fuels have been the blood in the veins of our countries of progress, of development, of um, technology deployment, you are deeply disturbing the entire system. But it's not only climate change that is imposing this extraordinary phenomenon. I actually sometimes worry more about the lack of appreciation of how close we are coming to a point where we actually cannot explain how on earth we will feed 10 million people without depleting the ecological infrastructure of this planet at the rate we do already now. 